was sitting at home while wondering how to pay for the marriage of his three daughters. He was so desperate. He thought about selling them as slaves. My eyes will flow unceasingly without relief until the Lord looks down from heaven and sees. What I see brings grief to my soul because of all the women of my sin. I don't know what I'm going to do. We don't have enough money to marry our daughters. Don't worry, God will provide. Samira, come here. Do you know where this money came from? I don't know. I never seen this much money before. Sarah, Mary, Christine, get over here. So, do you know where this money came from? I don't know where that money came from. That's a lot of money. Maybe a million. Ha! Huh, where would I ever find this much money? I only have a few months on me. Don't look at me. If I found this much money, I'll be halfway to Hawaii by now. Hmm. Well, if you don't know who brought this, who did? I don't know! This money came just in time. We can use it for Sarah's wedding. Oh God, you are so great. We finally gotten rid of one. Two more to go. Two more. I'm gonna miss her. Hopefully you can miss the other three soon. What's the matter with you? I'm just saying, you still need to marry the other two daughters and we don't have enough money for it. Don't worry, God will provide. Samira! Girls, come here! Somebody bought us another box of money. Do you know where do you know who bought this? No. How am I supposed to know? Well, thank God for his wonderful blessing. Hooray! Now I can't get mad. I say we sell away some dinner. Let's go! Compared to every night's dinner, this one was actually good. Yeah, yeah, very funny. I like mom's cooking. I like Mama's macaroni. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, well, that's great. Meanwhile, I'm gonna try and find out who's been leaving us this money. Dad, how are you gonna do it? Well, I'm gonna camp outside on the couch and wait for whoever's been leaving us the money to come. <laughs> Yeah, Dad, you never know when Prince Charm is gonna come knocking on the door. That's great, now leave. Haha! -ha, I've caught you! Have you been the one who's leaving us the money? Yes, but you weren't supposed to know. Well, who are you? And what's your story? My name is Nicholas. I'm from a city named Mora. My parents had me when they were very old. They raised me up in a church. I was good in church school and Sunday school. 
I was a deacon. By the age of 19, God gave me the power to start performing miracles. Then I became the Bishop of Mora. How did you become a bishop? Right before the election of bishop, I had a vision that a be beautiful robe was laying on a glorious chair and a man told me to put on the robe and sit on this chair. Later, I saw St. Mary. She gave me a priest tunic and Jesus gave me a Bible. Then after the Bishop of Mora passed away, an angel appeared to the head bishop and told him that I was chosen by God to be the next bishop. We are so happy to meet you, Santa, and hear your story. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And there it is. Your came off. <laughs> Wait. You're on? Oh my god. Are you filming this? You better not be. Come on, dude. Today. Tomorrow. Vision of a glorious cape sitting on a. Cake? <laughs> it's a cape! <laughs> cape? <laughs> robe, robe. Robe is not Batman or Superman. Come on. <laughs> Baba, you need to, uh, to buy a wedding bit. <laughs> Wait, where is it? Why don't you have I don't know if you've seen this. I think so, dude. Yellow. <laughs>